What's up, y'all? Welcome to Tune Into the Culture Home with my boy, Mikey Stacks. Your boy Ozzy right here. That's my big brother, my OG, you know what I'm saying? What's up, man? You call me the youngin', young blood, a bunch of beard nicknames. Anywho, so today's topic, we're going to be talking about snitching. Snitch. What does it actually mean to be a snitch? You got to be more specific, though. Snitching in the rap game, bro. Yeah, snitching in the rap game. Right, snitching in the rap game. Very big deal, right? Because most rappers start are like street rappers, right? So they yeah. start, they selling drugs, they selling weapons, yeah. all types of stuff. Like, yeah. Remember Jay-Z? Remember when he said, he, well, how much coke did you go missing that one time? He said, <laughs> he's got a bunch of bricks. He said, he don't know what happened to it. Yeah. And Jay-Z, he got all his uh, his crimes cleared when he got rich. Because yeah. he was like, everybody was like, what's that one lady? He said, how do you feel about your your, your husband being a crack coke? Crack 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 I think it's dealing. Tori Lauren. Yeah, she, that woman was like, hey. Tori Lauren. I don't know what her name is. I'm going to pull out this uh, definition. A great song that references snitching and being a rat is from the 2020 album with uh, Metro Boomin and 21 Savage. And Morgan Freeman is doing narration for her album. Savage Vote 2. Huh? Yeah. So, in his definition, it says, A regular citizen who reports seeing a crime isn't a snitch or a rat. The criminals were just sloppy. So, it's like if you're stealing at the store and the, the employee, like, Report you, they're not snitching, they just doing their job. You just yeah. happen to be at the wrong place or you weren't you weren't you weren't you weren't smart. Right? And then it says snitches and rats are not the same thing. Let me break it down to make sure y'all see what I mean. A snitch is someone minding other folks' business to find information so they can sell it for a price or trade for some other form of compensation. Right? So let's say someone that's not involved in the case, let's say like it was a friend of whoever, but they, they told them the information, but they got they're not even involved in the case, but they're trying to get like some type of benefits like, oh, if you this we give you some reward money that's a snitch we, we call these neighborhood snitches the people that always hang around the street dudes but they don't actually do street activities right yeah and then a rat is a trader a conceiver planner or fiscal participator he doesn't sell secrets for power or cash he betrays the trust of his team or his family hoping to save his own cowardly quote unquote ass the difference is at least a snitch is a human but a rat is a muck rat period Wise words from our great person, Morgan Freeman, yeah. the man who the lesson to OG, also the voice of God in multiple movies, and also the president in a bunch of movies too. Right. So, what would you say? Honestly, like, let's use 6 9 as an example. Snitch or rap? Oh, he both, but. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. I'm saying him more of a. I think he's just a rat, honestly. Right. So, like, I mean, yeah, like, he tried to justify why he ratted on people, mm -hmm. but. He just went and pointed out everybody. He got people. He was telling people that weren't even involved. Yeah, that's true. So at that point, he became a rat. At first, when he was snitching, when, when he was just telling on the people that's in the uh, what's it, the Fort Trick? Yeah. The what Fort? Uh, not Trey. Trey Bloods. Trey Trey Bloods. Trey 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 yeah. Yeah. But they're section of the Trey Bloods, right? Yeah. So at that time, he was snitching. But then the moment he started reporting other people to light the sentence, he was like, give up more people that are, that are involved and not that are related to it. Yeah. So that, that's when he went from being a snitch to a rat. He was just. Tell him I'll do like Hardy B got dropped, Jim Jones. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, he just started throwing and up. And I'm just like, people. just throwing up people that got nothing to do with kids. He's trying to like. So he became a snitch so that we can get less years. Because at first, ironically, they sent him to 69, 69 years. So they were, they were getting given 66, he already, or like 67. Yeah. Because he was already in jail for two years in and out of uh, federal custody. Yeah. You know, that they had protective time, custody. Counted, boy, yeah, boy. so they, they counted that time that he was in trial. Yeah. Right, so he was going to get 67 years, right? So at that moment, he goes from being a snitch to rat. His justification is that they jumped him, to they robbed him, him they, they smashed his baby mama, and he's like, there was no loyalty, so why should he be loyal to people that are not loyal? However, comma, when you attach yourself to a gang, right, you should know that there's a street code. Street code means that if you turn on the gang in any way or form, you turn your back on them, giving information that leads to them getting arrested, or putting them in a position to, to do life, or even any amount of time in jail or ruining the operation. You are therefore a snitch. If, when you when you do it for the feds and like they caught you up, you're an or like you're an informant now because now you're working directly with the feds. If you go up to them and be like, oh snap, without even the feds getting involved, you're a rat because you're, yeah. you're just betraying them just because. And like, see the thing about six and I did not cut you off, but he tried to like like you say he tried to justify that shit. I'm like, I understand, but he chose to be in that lifestyle. Exactly. He, yeah, I understand, but yeah, he chose me in that lifestyle, and so you you saw the video. He started talking about more and more pe different people that so do it. In the video, when they're when he's talking about, it, he's like, oh, he did a uh, an interview with uh, Logan Paul talking 
call my son. Well, so what would you have done? He said, so everybody, he had a good point. I see what you're saying, right? Yeah. He said that, oh, if, that, if, I, if, I, if I stood on all 10 tills and I did that 67 years, everybody would be like, oh, yeah, you're a real one, but what would that do for me? My daughter wouldn't be getting money. His baby mama would clearly be using him for money. Yeah. Everybody that's associated with him, they, they saw him, he was like a Hispanic kid named Daniel Hernandez, right? He had no face that he was just like a director. He was like, he was the guy that they sent to go do errands. Yeah. So, and he was like, I'm trying to be a rapper. So that's when he started getting all the tattoos. It's a, it's a gimmick, right? So how am I get people to notice me get these six nine tattoos? Then to stamp it so he could be safe in the hood, he uh he gave money to the trade the trade bloods, the trade gang, and then so he could get himself in there. And then they told him to do a robbery with him so that way he could be stamped in the gang. They were like, you can't be in the gang. Even with putting money in it, supporting you gotta do something illegal so that way you can protect him. So clearly, when, while he was rapping about dead ops, people that have been smoked by other gangs, not him personally, but he's using their gang clout or their uh, reputation as being dangerous to progress in those music, like songs like Gummo, Kiki. And it's funny, he had a good point though. Yeah, people like Fetty Wap, A Boogie, Tory Lanez, he's done a song with them. They all went ghost after he went off, but at the same time, they're not his homies. They were just doing business. Yeah. So obviously, if you're not affiliated with the case, you're not gonna stick your neck out with somebody you don't know. I mean, when it comes to 6 9 man, that dude, he just, he came out the gate beefing with everybody. Yeah, he, he also disrespected the vote a lot of he stuff. Just, he, he's at where he's at now because of what? Because he built his, he dug literally his own grave. His music is literally him, the base around him, like disrespecting other people for yeah, love. That's what and I'm then, saying, so. even with beefing with Juice World, if Juice World, I forgot what Juice World said something about, he was other than I wouldn't want to that like, one song. Yeah, man. That yeah, one song that that juice world blew up. He said he was like depressed or some shit. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Rest in peace, juice world. Yeah, rest in peace. Uh, yeah, man. Like, I don't know, man. I don't even care. Six nine to me, he's just a clown. Man. Yeah, cause like he, the man does stuff for attention. Then when he gets caught, he's like, oh man. It. So that goes to the other thing, self snitching, right? Yeah. People and me, rappers do this all the time. So when they get mad that the feds, the feds are, oh, they're listening to us right now. You see your phone, <laughs> even if you had. Your camera, the moment you, even when you're not using FaceTime, Google Chat, uh, Skype, Ubu, if Ubu's still around, uh, yeah. what's the other one? Uh, Zoom. So anytime you're not Google using phones, the feds can tap into your camera. So when you're saying stuff, they've even admitted to it. They said that when there was a bunch, there was that one school shooting, they had access to that guy's computer history, but they weren't sure if they should act on it. So they had the ability to act on it. But what did they do? They saved their money for catching high profile criminals. <laughs> so people that have already had a history of being tied with bigger organization, so like they'll be trying to find stuff from El Chapo, yeah. like uh, what's the other guy, like Big Meech. They're they're tapping into stuff like that because because the feds they claim that they want Larry to stop. Over. Yeah, they want to stop like criminals, right? Yeah. They don't. They want to stop big criminals so they can get more funding so they can keep their operation going. Because how was the last time you read a news article and they're like, oh, stop local criminal? That was that was, he was known for selling like I don't know like ten pounds of of cocaine, they don't care about him. They want the big fish that are big suppliers. So the Colombians that are working with El Chapo, his son, all the people that are in the network and they're supplying, they want people like him. But that's just a side note for another discussion. Yeah. Let's move on to Gunner. Gunner. Gunner Tello. Yeah, Gunner Tello. <laughs> we see Charleston White. Charleston White even said that he's not a street person, but he'll, he'll snitch. He'll call the cops on you, so I'm gonna make sure the cops do their job. So in the Gunner case, it's very similar. Except that Gunn is not known for being a gangster. He makes music. I think, not to cut you off from me, my bad. I feel like they, uh, they come a little too hard on Gunner. I don't feel like, yeah, I can see why they say he snitched, because he said why he took a plea. He took a plea deal. But he's not, like, pointing people out like he's six nine. The like, other guys, though, that were in the case, the other eight YSL members, they said that Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, they said that he's the one behind it. They yeah. specifically, if you look in the paperwork and go on Google right now and look at the case, just search a YSL Rico case. And by the way, Rico stands for Rocky and Conspiracy. So yeah, I don't uh like I get it. I see why people call him a rat, but I just in Gunner's case, he took an Alpha P, but he's like yeah. he's he's admitting that if they go to trial, there's enough guilt that yeah. we can convict them. But he's not like sitting here saying Young Thug did this, this, this why YSL whoever did this. Rap, not, rappers do that all the time. They plead. Guilty. Pleading guilty does not mean you snitch because you're reporting yourself. The only thing that's iffy though is when the judge was asking them questions, I seen on Academics page. Shout out Academics, you know, number one source for hip hop news. Y'all check them out. I rock what you act. Uh, shout out, um, not shout out, my bad. What I what 
I seen on Axe page was that when the judge was asking questions, uh, they were, she was asking questions like, do you think Wyatt sells a game? Whatever, you seen that, right? Yeah, I saw that. And he was like, yes, man. David Megan just they said that yes. <laughs> they said, no, 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 I mean, let me do it. Yes, man. Me so I'm like, that part, I don't, I see why he probably had to say that, because if he didn't say that, then he probably wasn't going to get out of jail. Right, right under oath, if they find out you're lying, that's, that's literally more federal so, time. like, I see that, but I don't know, man. I feel like we don't know everything. Like, we're not in the jail. We're not talking to the The details dogs. of the case are still ongoing. That right? also, but and remember, point, this, this is my point here. <laughs> yeah. Conspiracy. I can guarantee you, I can, I'll put my whole life savings on it if I could. I feel like Thug and Gunna had a combo that nobody knows about. They probably communicated through their lawyers, whatever, passed information through the jail, whatever. And I guarantee you, well, as far as I know, I feel like Gunna asked Thug for Thug's blessings, if he could do this, to run it by him. Cause I, I was Thug and Gunner like this. Bro. He literally put him on. Yeah, he put him on. He got him to rap all that shit. But I'm Thug. So I man. just don't feel. And then I might get to catch some flack for this, but I don't care. I'm a free thinker. I have my own opinion on. I base my own opinion about shit. I feel like Gunna communicated with Thug, and Thug somehow, some way, communicated his blessing for him to take that plea deal. You're not gonna come out and say it. You're not gonna. Nobody yeah, it's, it's an open case. Yeah, it's still an open case. God is not going to talk about it, but that's how I feel. So He, he said free wide sell in the comments. Normally, when people snitch, they distance themselves completely. Yeah. The fact that he even posts on, on social media means that. But then his other wide sell people like, uh, what's his name? Lil, 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 Lil Got It. Lil Got It. Because they, they probably don't know, though. They don't They don't know the situation. They're just speaking all from like from somebody outside looking Because when you're in a case, especially when you're in a retail case against the feds, you are not allowed to communicate with people that are like associated, but they got everyone that's associated because Will got it. He wasn't part of the thing, but because Gun is always with Young Thug and he's in the YSL label, yeah. they're grouping him as because the whole thing of conspiracy means that they have evidence saying that there's that they have enough evidence to say that there's a bigger picture going on. They don't have all the evidence though, so that's what makes a conspiracy. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. It's a touchy subject. So for Gun, I feel like for him, it's. He 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 pled guilty for himself, so he took a plea deal. Yeah. It's like if you if you get a ticket, right, and then you the moment you pay the fine, you're accepting that oh you did that. Yeah, that's it, what I'm saying. You're not but he didn't technically a snitch because you're reporting yourself, but you said you got caught that you have to report. He didn't directly say this guy's doing this, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Like, yeah. Unless he until he takes the stand and yeah. says yes, I seen Young Thug attempt kill. Uh, yeah. Pay for the car that killed wife and Lucci's manager, or nothing. Yeah. Or I, I, yeah, so I, we, I know. I had knowledge that Young Thug was funding YSL to do criminal. Like until he says that, make statements like Six Nine did mm -hmm. on the stand. See, I don't really consider that's exactly what I was saying. If you were saying that the case is similar, it's not. It's not that similar because it's not Six Nine. He started folding immediately. Yeah, he he, did. It was maybe like a month, and then after a month happened, then that's when he started pointing fingers. Yeah, he was like, I'm working, and then he put him on uh, witness protection. And Gun has been put on witness protection yet, so you know what that means. Yeah. In a case like this, if it's, if it's really sensitive material, they put him on witness protection. He wouldn't, he wouldn't even be allowed to post. Six Nine wasn't allowed to post until like after the whole thing was over. With. Yeah. So think about it this way, right? Snitching equals self preservation. Being a rat means that you're just doing it out of spite to betray someone because you don't care about them or you have a vendetta against them. Yeah. And another thing is, though, a lot of criminals, a lot of bosses that are like up. Yeah. They they do rat stuff. If you kill your supplier, you're a rat. Yeah. Even if people people will not admit this, but rappers talk about it all the time. Rappers will say stuff like "ran off on the plug." Are you in definition? You're a rat because you betrayed somebody that put you on to get him more money. Yeah, so that's saying every, no games, though. Yeah, but every drug dealer is in some way a rat because when it comes to getting more money, what do they do? They snitch somebody. You ever heard? Ran off on the plug, fouled the plug. Yeah. I'm, you're trying to take over. I'm gonna take over your trap. You yeah. take over your trap. You're essentially. That one might not be snaking, that's just, you know, yeah. dominating power. But if you if you run off on a person that puts you on, I, by definition, you, you snake them, you ratted them. You might have not ratted them out to the feds, but you snaked them out to someone else that could have killed them or sent them to the feds. So yeah. just as guilty, because you enabled the situation. Side I'm still listening to Gunner's music. I don't give a fuck what y'all I know you're season three. 
hard. Come on. Drip season forever. That last shit he dropped when he got locked up, pushing P. I know y'all know that song. Everybody, everybody Fire. on TikTok. Fire. 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 I was one of my favorite songs. They got that song with uh, Chloe Bailey. Thought it was, uh, thought I was playing with 21. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, Drip Season 3, Spending Addiction. Almost the whole album's uh, no skips. Yeah, so. Uh, okay, King Fuck what y'all gotta say. Y'all can call Gunner a snitch, whatever. I'm still bumping it. Next time that nigga dropping an album, I'm gonna be going to be the worst. Even that one album was hard. Which one? The one uh, uh, Drowner. Oh, yeah, one of was full too. Yeah. I like the Deluxe. Uh, but, so. Another thing, though. Six yeah. nine, I'll fuck with his music. I'll fuck with another it. Another thing is, though, like, like the big difference I'm putting in all of all Gunner versus Six Nine. Gunner's music is not about doing like homicides yeah. and catching bodies he, and threatening other gang members. He's not. He raps about drift, fashion. <laughs> he'll he'll rap about oh, him smoking weed, fucking bitches. Yeah, but he ain't he's not about, a he is not a street rapper in my opinion. He ain't rapping about gang. This like he, he ain't screaming. Out. He ain't screaming Treyway and yeah. shit like homeboy Daniel Hernandez. He was out street rappers for like people like Casanova. He was rapping about street stuff too. So like, and he's also. In the feds right now. Yeah. So yeah, like most drill rappers, they're rapping about street, so like they, they're talking about catching bodies. Who obviously smoke? And what song have you ever heard Gunner say, "I'm gonna smoke this person"? He might say, "I keep this tool on me for protection." Yeah. But him saying, "I keep a gun for me for protection," versus, "Oh, if I see this person, it's on sight." Gunner also doesn't beef with people. Anybody that's in the streets, they have beef with somebody on on record. So you know. All right, who's the, who's the last person we're going to talk about? Boston Rich. Boston Rich. I don't know too much about his situation. Me neither. I don't even know about All I know is that the reason why he got reported was because they said that his name popped on paperwork. And it's like, I can't defend him. You should check out that Lieutenant Jake, the white boy. Nah. Hold up. You ain't see. Right, you see what you're saying? Oh, nah, we're just talking about Boston Richie. I don't really, I'm not really too familiar. Yeah, I, don't I downloaded it. I need to listen to his music, so I My homeboy told me to check out his music. He said it's hard. You want a 1017 rapper, right? Uh, I don't know right? who he sound. I, I never even heard of him until this snitching stuff started popping off. Uh, it already got open shift distribution. Yeah, go ahead and talk about the, the 1090 guy. Oh, uh, uh, just 1090. He makes YouTube videos. He's a content creator. He, uh, he just be talking about snitching a lot. Academic child, academic on the yeah, on his Twitch and stuff. We talking about all these rappers and snitching and paperwork and all that. So yeah, if y'all want to hear some stuff about that, check out 1090J. Uh, but uh, nah, he just be talking about the Boston Richie. That's kind of how I first kind of heard about it because academics had him on stream and then he was talking about it and that's when I started to hear. He kind of pushed this Boston Richie stuff and that's how kind of got blew up because this guy was making. Two videos about Boston Richie snitching and stuff like that. So look, uh, I think I just showed you that integration. I'm not gonna play it, but if you, uh, if you got a whole like, he got a whole video of Boston Richie talking yeah. and stuff. So. Yeah, and when you see the videos of me, like, yeah, he, when someone says that person did it, and they ask you for the person's full name, by by law, by federal law, you are reporting. You are now an informant. Me personally. I'm not in the streets. I'm not in the streets either. But at the same time, I'm a military there's, there's, a, there's a thing about there's a thing about being loyal, right? Yeah. So if I knew that somebody was doing something illegal, right? I would put it would be my best interest to not be doing stuff that would get me caught up. That too, or if let's say me and you, we're not doing this, we're going right. by the sentence. You're right. It's hypothetical. Just get that out there. You're in the military, serve in our country. You Uncle Sam. I had to put that out there. And me and him though, let's say for example purposes only. If we were to rob a bank and I got caught, no, I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, I was with uh, Ozzy. No, I'm not gonna do that. Me, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna fight the case, and you know, that's just me though. That's how I grew up. Right. So that's that's that right there would be snitching. And then second side, right? In a different scenario, if me and him theoretically robbed the bank together, right? And we we both we broke both got like let's say we robbed like 25 mil. We yeah. split that 25 mil halfway, whatever the yeah. price is. And then we're good. We 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 escape. We're like in Italy or something. We're out the country. Yeah. And then they put a reward money for our head. And then <laughs> let's say the reward million is the is like ten mil. I'm like, dang, that money would be sweet if I had an extra ten mil. Yeah. But at this point, they don't know who robbed the bank. They just know it's two people. If I write them out, and then I get I get what's that thing called? You get immunity. Yeah. If I report, you get lesser crimes. So they just yeah. they make you do like one year. And I if I decide to rattle him. Because there's a there's prize money. Now I'm a rap because I'm just I'm betraying your trust for no reason at all. Or I'm trying 
trying to get the money. It kind of plays into it, but it's like, we didn't even get caught yet. The cops haven't arrested you, so if you, if you rat someone out and you're telling them, now you're a rat because you're betraying that person. But if you're in a situation where you've already been caught, you're snitching to get a better position, right? So that's the two takeaways from that. Then you got self snitching. You got rappers that they openly rap about, oh, I, I just killed this person. I was on this person's neighborhood at their block. I'm on 1300 Street. Yeah. Rappers from Chicago do this all the time. So when they get caught by the feds, they say, oh, someone's, no, no one's this on you. You went on YouTube, you shot a video on someone's grave. Are you crazy? Have you no fear for the Lord? Come on now, stop it. Talk about some, oh yeah, I shot him up on this block while he was wearing, while he was in his brand new Benz. Come on now, here. You literally put that out there and tell people that you, you did that. You awesome. can't be mad when the feds catch you. Awesome, like you kind of said earlier. Don't do no crimes, nothing illegal. You don't have to worry about getting snitched on, ratting on, going to jail, taking pleas. If you, if you ain't about that life, just don't even try to go down there. That's just an advice for everybody. Also, there are snitches inside of like uh, people that are civilians. Like, let's say you and your brother get in trouble by your parent. If you if you tell tell your parent that it was your brother who did it to save to save your skin, so you get you don't get grounded, you're a snitch too. You're just not a snitch on the level of like high yeah. level, but you you snitch on your own brother, so that way you wouldn't get in trouble by your parents. Yeah. And if you snitch on your siblings, you snitch on anybody. Facts. So that's just another that's a lighter version of snitching. Like it's not gonna. You gonna be safe from the, I don't know if the people in the streets care about that, but that's like one of those things. I personally would never ride on my sister, you know. Yeah. That, that's why I, my sister might have snitched on me though back in the day. <laughs> when I can't, when I was trying to figure out who took what snacks, my sister was like, it was me. I said, that's crazy. But that's not the end of it. I still got love for her. But we, we're not in the streets though, so I, I can let it slide. I ain't, ain't no death or jail time on, on the end of just someone losing their phone or getting grounded. Uh, I, I put something out. Yes, we recorded in the barracks room. I know y'all motherfuckers gonna be in the comments. Oh, y'all in the barracks? Yeah, my, my, my nigga live on base right now, so like, we don't got it set up in my crib, but you know, we hate the comments. I hate that be hated. So, <laughs> anywho, and so, uh, uh, I just want to talk about like this one rapper, what's his name? Uh, Pooh Shiesty. Pooh Shiesty, he's one of those cases where like he got caught on camera, right? <laughs> so like, no one snitched on him, but I just want to use that example. When you're a rapper and you rap about like certain topics, like you say that if someone tries to reach for you, you'll shoot them. You can say yourself. Oh yeah, like he said. What did he yeah. say? Uh, he said, "I don't need no security. Yeah, I got I'm my own fire in this club." <laughs> yeah, he literally did that. And did he, he, was, he did he shoot somebody in the ass or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They said they shot him in the. He shot someone in the butt off. So I guess the dude tried to run away. He, if you run away, your legs move, so your hips move. And I guess he shot him in shot him in the behind. How much years he got? I don't know. I think they gave him like five or something. Yeah, Pooh Shashi was hot too. When he first yeah. Came so out. for his case. It's, it's a mixture of self-snitching in your music, but then when you get caught on camera, so the way the feds work, if, they, if you have a song, right, even if, you, even if that song, you're not doing anything illegal at the moment, the moment you do something illegal, they're gonna use that as what they call motive, right? So him being involved in that, even though it was self-defense, he, he had an unregistered firearm, so now they're using the music as a, as a as motive and like just cause for him doing that. So just, just in general, if you're gonna be an entertainer, Probably shouldn't make music about stuff that you've done. And if you do make music about stuff you've done, maybe you should use fake names. And don't do that Bobby Schmurter who, who, who he dropped every one of his homeboys' nicknames that were in GS. But Bobby Schmurter ain't snitched on prison. Bro. He, he served. He, he served. served top, so he self snitched. But when it came to going to jail, he took more. He took more time so him and Roddy Rebel could get out. Roddy Rebel could get out. Before. Yeah, but yeah. So in that case, Bobby Schmurter didn't snitch. Take it and snitch. One of the reasons why I take it couldn't even stick is everyone snitched on him before he could even say anything. <laughs> but even before that, he wasn't saying anything. So, just be careful who you keep in your circle. If you don't want to be a snitch or a rat, maybe don't put yourself in situations that involve... Or just don't do crime. Yeah. Because yeah. if, you know, if you know that, if you get hit by... If the judge looks at you in the face and says, Hey man, I can give you like... I can give you one year versus 55 years. You're, most people are going to snitch to preserve their own skin. But... Again, if you don't put yourself in a situation to be a criminal, you don't even gotta worry about that. So okay. everyone's talking to some, oh, you're not in this situation. You know why I'm not in this situation? Because I'm not stupid. If I ever did a crime, you wouldn't even hear about it. I wouldn't go on social media. I wouldn't tell my cousins, my yeah. family. Mm -hmm. I'm letting that go. Yeah, yeah. we go on Instagram live talking about, yeah, guess what I just got done doing? You know, they said that the best way to keep a secret is if another person is dead. I think that's true, but another way to keep a secret is if you just don't talk. Yeah. No one's gonna know unless you bring it up. So if you like make a joke about it, someone will look but at you. But what if you do a crime with somebody else and they talk? Like hypothetically again, if you do a crime and then I talk. Yeah, if 
that person talk, then that means I'm great. That's what I'm done. Just, just don't do crop here. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing is that. that you don't want to be a snitch, but being a rat is worse because you're not even getting anything in return. You're just, you're just yeah. putting them out there and getting them in trouble, unprovoked, just out of the form of betrayal. But like I said, don't be a snitch. Don't be a rat. Just don't get yourself involved. Get a job. Get off your behind. Stop BSing. This song for Texas. <laughs> Talking about some, oh, I hate the feds. Well, yeah, everyone hates the feds, but no one's stupid enough to cross them. If you cross them, that's on you. Because look at how much money they're putting into FBI, CIA. You think you think they're just getting all that money to just to not put pressure? They they threaten your life, your family, your kids. They're like, yeah. if you don't do this, they're gonna be on you. So, yeah. But yeah, I'll wrap up the topic. Thanks for uh, tuning in to our. I guess it's not a podcast yet, but this is a video. So it's a pilot episode. Yeah. We, we out some things. But. Yeah. So you'll see my boy Mikey Stacks over here, OG. A slightly younger OG in the making, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, we out. That'd be easy.